Hello, and welcome to Talk Audio's little weekly video product blog. This week it's the light box amplification from Vibe, um, and they're actually starting off in their cartons because they're so beautiful. Um, massive audio put their amps in lovely boxes and so forth, but the overall presentation of all of this is just exquisite. First of all, we've got all the uh, stuff on the side and uh, different languages, but with a nice flag showing you who and what. Um, Little bits of details about the uh, the tech and so forth on there. And check out the back of this. This is just beautiful. This is uh, showing you that they're involved and interested in Emma and EB Drag. Um, there's a sort of, I've uh, got a lot of flair there, diagram of that. Anyway, let's open the box. But as you do, ooh, look at this. <laughs> it says British audio on it because they're exporting to the USA. Um, these boxes are just fabulous. Inside, what you get presented with is uh, a little baggie. And when you open it up, all the packaging is polyurethane rather than polystyrene. Um, when you open it up, take the caps off the end. Um, there it is in its little bag. Let's open that up. All I have done to, to get ready is, is actually open up a couple of polythene bags because you get lots of little bits and bobs in here. There's the uh, amplifier itself. Now this is a 500 watt RMS at 2 ohm amplifier. Peaking at a kilowatt. 300 at, uh, at 4 ohms. Um, bristling with features, won't go into that right now, but just check out all the stuff that you get in here. Um, for one, you do actually get a nice long control wire to go with the uh, base knob on a box. Is that the right way up? No, it isn't. There we go. Um, you basically fit that wherever you like, and you can change the base gain from subtle through to full dub styley whenever you feel like it. And you get all kinds of uh, bits and bobs in here. First off, there's a uh, it's auto sensing, so you get a little signal a uh, speaker level to uh, signal converter so you can switch it underneath to auto sensing because this beast is absolutely bristling with little controls on all hidden away first of all there's a fan aperture there let's see if we can get nice and close in and get the light on it let you see these switches phase crossover point auto sensing various stuff like that and on the bottom of the amp as well a whole bunch of stuff about the technologies that they use and how they label them they're proprietary ones so they're not uh, um, things like Dolby Digital and so forth. These are actual Vibe's own uh, take on designing your amplification, and they're damn good at it. Um, each manual, you also get a whole bunch of stuff about their accessories and stuff in the back. Um, and more than that, the actual manual contains all kinds of really cool information, like that's a power cable calculator guide, which says how wide your cable needs to be for how many watts you're going to be drawing at whatever distance. Um, and there are diagrams and so forth, including some fun ones uh, like this, which is how to use two of these amplifiers to drive just one woofer because you can strap them um the other one i've got oh still in its packaging is the uh stereo four which is uh obviously the four channel model um we're gonna have a good go on them um i'm quite excited and uh keen to find out just how much bass this beast produces because that is a half kilowatt amplifier and like it says light box they don't weigh much um and that's your i think obviously Product aimed at these supercars, and the cars I have seen them installed in by way of demonstration at the shows and so forth make you kind of hurt for wanting them. So, uh, <sighs> vibe light box. I wish I had the lifestyle that needed to fit them in. <laughs> I like sheds in my great big Volvo, but serious bits of kit, and we're going to try them out, and uh, we'll let you know.